aboard Riders of the Tunnel Rails plans to build two new railway corridors under the Hudson River finally lurched into motion last night after power brokers agreed on who'll pay for the so-called gateway project and who'll run the operation. Feds will split the projected $20 billion cost 50-50 with New York and New Jersey. Riders asked. I don't know how much money that's going to cost us. <laughs> <laughs> like 20 billion. Yeah, wow. Hey, that's something we need. That's something we need. You know, we need more transportation services. The agreement sets up a special gateway development corporation to oversee the enormous project with members from each state's Port Authority contingent, plus Amtrak and the U.S. Department of Transportation. The compromise garnered final approval from Governors Christie and Cuomo and U.S. Senators from both states after getting consistently de Derailed. We had a period last uh, spring that we had a lot of the major actors in this talking at each other, but not with each other. In August, Senators Booker and Menendez set up a meeting with U.S. Transportation Commissioner Anthony Fox, New Jersey Transit, and Governor Christie. Cuomo didn't attend, but it kick-started a conversation that hammered out the governance agreement and identified several possible funding sources, including grants and loans. The really big news out of this is the fact that we've gone from really having no plan, no pathway forward, to now you've got these major actors, governors, congresspeople, uh, uh, Obama administration officials who really said, hey, this project is important and we're going to move, drive this project forward. You have Senator Booker stepped in with our governors, with Senator Schumer, to get a federal commitment on probably a $20 billion project. That's what I'm hearing estimates. $10 billion of it being guaranteed by the feds and then lending us $10 billion to do our part. That's one hell of a deal. This is gamemanship at its worst. A skeptical Congressman Bill Pascrell still blames Governor Christie for delaying the tunnel projects. I was on the planning for 15 years. You're talking to one of the persons that went to every frickin' meeting in Newark with every official, Democrats, Republicans, all on board. So don't you think I should be a little skeptical? Pascrell calls the current tunnels dangerous. Amtrak's pushed for new tunnels for years, pointing out the two current century-old tunnels handle more than 450 trains a day. The tube sustained serious damage from saltwater flooding during Superstorm Sandy, cracks, fissures, and corrosion that need frequent repairs. The Gateway project wouldn't be finished till perhaps 2030. Now they're still, still working on a track, and it's still causing problems. Unexpected delays can really delay me, and it's like, oh my goodness, I can't deal with this. Perhaps it's a good thing that riders are accustomed to delays, because this tunnel will take decades to complete. As Senator Booker says, if we don't get this thing done, we could face traffic Armageddon. At Newark Penn Station, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.